I'm Jordan Miner, and this is Who Wore It Best, the 148 Apps video show where iOS games are forced to fight to the death for kind of shady reasons. Kind of like in The Hunger Games. And speaking of that dystopian literary phenomenon, with The Hunger Games Part 3, Part 1 out soon, today we're taking a look at two past tributes, Girl on Fire and Pan Am Run. The most noteworthy thing about Hunger Games Girl on Fire is that it comes from Adam Saltzman, who essentially kicked off this whole running game trend with his modern classic Cannibal. As Katniss automatically dashes through forests and industrial environments, players shoot down enemies with their bow and hop between upper and lower levels trying to avoid incoming fire. It takes a keen eye to recognize when to jump and when to attack, kind of like in an old school arcade shooter, and the controls are fluid enough to translate players' thoughts into direct action. Plus, it's got a great pixelated art style that makes it feel like some sort of long-lost tie-in to a mid-90s version of the Hunger Games movie. We give it four stars. By comparison, Pan Am Run is a much more typical MS runner. Players choose their tribute and try to make it as far as they can through an obstacle course across the various districts. There's a lot of dodging and dipping and diving and ducking and dodging, and occasionally a fork in the road where players can choose their next path. The occasional bow shooting minigames try to add some Hunger Games specific flavor, and the environments, while often recycled, do a pretty good job at capturing the dingy, oppressive future with shiny, detailed 3D graphics. But more than anything, this just feels like a skin wrapped over a stock genre. Like The Hunger Games, Who Were It Best is a brutal competition that mocks morality with its very existence. But we still have to pick a winner. So while Pan Am Run doesn't really do anything that's flat out bad, Girl on Fire is ultimately a better, smarter, and more creative use of the license. May the odds be ever- oh no, whatever, I'm not gonna say that.